a very good morning to all my dear students how are you all hope you are fine and doing well close your eyes pray to god lord i know you are with me and love me give me peace of mind as i prepare for this time of study give me insight i might understand what i am studying and help me to remember it when the time comes amen open your eyes slowly Okay, my dear. We will come back to our revision. Okay, my dear. Welcome back to our FA one revision. So first, I am going to explain you question paper model. So first, so totally two Romans. First Roman consists of ten objective type bits. Okay, ten multiple choice questions. So so each question carry one mark. okay so 1 into 10 is equals to 10 marks first roman okay so second roman have five two marks questions five two marks questions five into 2 is 10 so here my dear first roman consists of 10 questions each question carry one mark these are all multiple choice questions Next Roman consists of two marks questions, so total questions are five. Each question carry two marks, so total marks are ten. So total marks are twenty, right? Ten plus ten, total marks are twenty. So we can start with our first chapter, real numbers. Revision class, we can start with our first chapter, real numbers. So what are the real numbers? so real numbers are the combination of rationals and irrationals right so real numbers real numbers are the combination of rationals and irrationals okay so real numbers are the combination of rationals and irrationals so what is a rational number rational numbers always in the form of p by q and here q is not equals to 0 p comma q are some integers this type of numbers are called rational numbers what is irrational number so irrational means not a rational irrational means not a rational okay or the numbers which are not in the form of p by q they never written in the form of p by q they are completely different from rationals this type of numbers are also called irrational okay right the numbers not in the form of p by q this type of numbers are called irrationals right so for this rationals for this rationals there are two types of decimal expansions for this rationals there are two types of decimal expansions one is terminating next one is recurring next one is recurring or repeating decimal expansion so rationals have two types of decimal expansion one is recurring one is terminating so rationals have two types of decimal expansions one is first one is terminating next one recurring or repeating okay my dear for irrationals so the decimal expansions for irrationals are neither terminating non recurring neither terminating non recurring
okay generally real numbers are the combination of rationals and irrationals so there are two types of decimal expansions in rational one is terminating one is recurring for the irrationals decimal expansion is neither terminating non recurring so rationals terminating examples are 5 by 2 so recurring 1 by 3 is the example of recurring decimal expansion okay so result is result is 0.33333 and so on so that is equals to 0.3 bar this is a recurring decimal expansion so these two comes under rationals so for irrationals root 2 okay root 2 so the decimal expansion of root 2 is neither terminating non recurring okay right next topic is sort to exponential form sort to exponential form sort means these are in the form of nth root a right nth root a these are generally in the form of nth root a right exponential form of so exponential form of this third is a to the power of 1 by n a to the power of 1 by n take some examples how to convert third form to exponential form so this is third form third root 2 third root 2 so exponential form is 2 to the power of 1 by 3 okay right so next one so fourth fourth root of 15 so exponential form is 15 to the power of 1 by 4 here nth root of here third root of here fourth root of so these are all third forms so these are all exponential forms okay exponential forms so this is called index this is called base a 2 n 15 these are all called bases so 1 by n 1 by 3 1 by 4 these are all called index right yes next one to convert exponential form to third form exponential form to third form so exponential forms are generally in the form of a to the power of 1 by n right third form sir nth root a okay take one example so second root of second root of 3 or square root of 3 so both are same 2 root 3 is nothing but root 3 so that is equals to so this is a third form right so the exponential form is 3 to the power of 1 by 2 right so our topic is convert exponential form to third form take another example so 4 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 by 3 so third form is third root of 4 right third root of 4 here this is index this is index this is base this is base you should write base under the square root okay this is index means third root of 4 is the final result so take another example so 5 to the power of 1 by 5 this is exponential form right this is of the form a power 1 by n right so the third form is fifth root of 5 fifth root of 5 here 5 in v group here 3 in v group here 2 in v group okay right
next topic next topic in this first chapter so rationalizing the denominator next topic is rationalizing rationalize the denominator so here take one example 1 by root 2 so here denominator denominator is an irrational number we have to rationalize this denominator so here our rationalizing factor is root 2 right we just multiply numerator and denominator with root 2 okay so that is equals to here 1 by root 2 into root 2 divided by root 2 so that is equals to what will happens we just see so root 2 into 1s are root 2 root 2 into root 2 root 2 whole square see so here square square root both are cancel so finally our result is root 2 by 2 so here denominator is rationalized here denominator is an irrational so here denominator is rationalized so this is the process to rationalizing the denominator so i will explain you one more time so here given problem is 1 by root 2 here denominator is an irrational number we have to rationalize this denominator so we can take rationalizing factor is root 2 multiply numerator and denominator with root 2 so finally we can get root 2 by 2 here denominator is an rational number here this is irrational denominator is rationalized right yes take another example so 2 by root 5 here rationalizing factor is here denominator is root 5 so rationalizing factor is root 5 so multiply numerator and denominator with root 5 right so 2 by root 5 into root 5 divided by root 5 so that is equals to 2 into root 5 by root 5 into root 5 root 5 whole square that is equals to square square root cancel denominator is 5 so here denominator is rationalized right yes this is the final result okay my dear right so here our second chapter is polynomials right so in this polynomials we are going to discuss with degree of polynomial degree of polynomial and second one find the zeros of polynomial And third one, without actual multiplication, solve the following. And next one, find the values of polynomials. At given values. These are the main topics from polynomials. So we can find degree of a polynomial and find the zeros of polynomial by using factor theorem without actual multiplication solve the following. So here one of the example from this question 1001 into 999. Okay next one find the values of polynomial at given values. So, so we can start with degree of polynomial. So that is equals to find the degree of polynomial of x square plus 2x plus 3. So here, so here this is a one variable polynomial right. This is one variable polynomial. Here one variable is x. Okay. So generally what is a polynomial? So polynomials are nothing but algebraic expressions the variables consist only positive integral powers the variables consist only positive 
integral powers okay integral is nothing but integers okay here our given polynomial is x square plus 2x plus 3 we have to find the degree of polynomial so degree of polynomial is highest degree of the variable degree means highest degree of a variable right so highest degree of the variable highest degree of the variable in the given polynomial here degree is x power 0 here degree is x power 1 here degree is x power 2 so the degree of the polynomial is highest degree of the variable here highest degree is 2 right so here in this polynomial degree is 2 next take another example x plus 1 so x plus 1 so here highest degree of the variable is 1 right so here x highest power is 1 here degree is degree is 1 okay for a constant polynomial degree is 0 for a constant polynomial degree is 0 so this is a constant polynomial degree is degree is 0 why because it is because it is multiplied by the variable of degree 0 here x power 0 here x power 0 y power 0 z power 0 or a power 0 whatever it is so the variable power is 0 the constant polynomial degree always is 0 okay my dear right next one Find the zeros of polynomial. Find the zeros of polynomial by using factor theorem. So let us see one example. So here we can take one example. P of x is equals to x square minus 1. So check P of minus 1 and P of 1 are the zeros of polynomials by using factor theorem. By using factor theorem, check whether p of minus 1 and p of 1 are the zeros of polynomials of x square minus 1. So here, let's take p of minus 1. Substitute, substitute minus 1 instead of x. So here, substitute minus 1 instead of x here. So minus 1 whole square minus 1. So that is equals to minus, minus 1 whole square means minus 1 into again minus 1 that is equals to plus 1. 1 minus 1 result is 0. So next take x is equals to 1. So p of 1. So that is equals to substitute 1 instead of x. So 1 square minus 1 result is 1 minus 1 that is equals to 0. So p of minus 1 is equals to 0. p of 1 is equals to 0. So, by using factor theorem, check whether p of minus 1 and p of 1 are the factors of given polynomial. This is our question, right? So, here p of minus 1 is 0. p of 1 is also 0. So, this is a factor. This is a factor. Okay, right? Yes, p of minus 1 and p of 1 are the factors of given polynomial p of x this is our conclusion okay my dear right next model without actual multiplication solve the following so 101 into 99 this is our first question so just write this 101 is the combination of two terms so that is 100 plus 1 right into this is also the same 99 means 100 minus 1 so that is equals to it is of the form a plus b into a minus b right this is of the form a plus b into a minus b result is a square minus b square a plus b into a minus b result is a square minus b square right so that is equals to here a is 100 b is equals to 1 so 100 square minus 1 square so that is equals to 10,000 minus 1 result is 9999 this is the final result okay right so take another example find so 100 plus 1 whole square so that is equals to it is of the form a plus b whole square right it is of the form a plus b whole square result is 
a square plus b square plus 2ab right so that is equals to here a is equals to 100 square plus b is equals to 1 square plus 2ab means 2 into 100 into 1 so that is equals to here 100 square means 10,000 plus 1 plus 2 into 100 200 so finally our result 10,201 this is our final result okay my dear right so next model find the value of polynomial find the value of polynomial so here find the value of polynomial of p of x is equals to x plus 1 add add x is equals to 1 x is equals to minus 1 so that is equals to here x is equals to 1 means here x is equals to 1 means p of 1 x is equals to minus 1 means p of minus 1 okay right so p of 1 is equals to 1 plus 1 that is equals to 2 so here p of minus 1 is equals to substitute minus 1 instead of x minus 1 plus 1 result is 0 right so here p of x is equals to x plus 1 is given find the value at p of 1 and p of minus 1 at x is equals to 1 at x is equals to minus 1 substitute 1 instead of x in our given polynomial result is 2 substitute minus 1 instead of x in our given polynomial result is 0 so here finally our conclusion so finally our result is so value of value of polynomial value of polynomial at p of 1 is 2 next value of polynomial value of here polynomial is p of x that is equals to x plus 1 right so here polynomial is p of x that is equals to x plus 1 at p of minus 1 is result is what is the result 0 this is the final result okay my dear right this is your practice question so p of x is equals to x square plus 2x plus 1 find the value of given polynomial at p of minus 1 and p of 1 and p of 0 this is your homework okay my dear if you have any doubts in this session please contact my number thank you have a good day